Hey guys, hope you all are well and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be giving you guys an update on my FTML funded account and how that is doing. Before we get into that, I do want to show you guys a few extra books that I've done for my car. I wanted to share this in my last video, but I didn't quite get around to it, so I want to show you guys now. So the first thing that I've done uh, is the exhaust. It looks way better than the last one. The last one I actually had two twin exhaust there on the left side and now I've got the twin exhaust on either side it looks a lot better than the last one I've also got this really cool gloss back diffuser put on so the last one I didn't have a gloss back diffuser it was just um, sort of just gloss black and this one looks way better I got the spikes as well uh, really really happy with the exhaust tips and of course this one you guys may have seen on my um, Instagram I've got the N6 DEM new number plates put on as well and these are 4D as well looks way way better I've also got this really cool uh, gloss black roof wrap really happy with that it goes so nicely with the, you know, the tin the back, the back glass and also the spoiler um, red calipers got that to match the interior of the car red calipers look really nice uh, of course the front of the car with the number plate looks so much better and unfortunately like i mentioned before the splitter is really taking the piss now uh, let me know guys let me know if i should get the tail light tinted because i am thinking of getting them tinted not too dark but you know maybe like a 50 percent tint on the rear lights i think it will really complement the rest of the car let me know if there's anything else that you guys think i should do to the car i am getting it remapped soon as well so extra power even better <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna go gym now and hopefully i'll see you guys when i get home and give you guys an update on how my ftmo funded account is currently doing okay so here we are quick update on my ftmo funded account i'm gonna go through some of the trades that i took in the last few weeks of uh, having this account so i actually started trading on this account towards the end of november and uh, so my profit split that means would be on probably the 30th of december from what i can remember uh so some of the trades that i want to run through i'll put them here so you guys can see uh first trade we have is this gold trade so this trade did really really well i'll show you guys the profit of this trade as well nearly one thousand nine hundred dollars uh, so that's about a 1.9 percent increase on my ftm funded account uh, from just this one trade so i caught a total of 100 pips on this trade from 1870 all the way down to 1860 and this trade was placed based off the previous highs that we have up here uh, so this was the previous day's high trade was placed based off that my entry wasn't the best i had a bit of a drawdown on this trade before the market reversed and hit my tp i had about a 40 pip stop loss on this trade and the drawdown on this trade was about i think it was about 25 maybe 30 pips uh drawdown on this trade but i did catch a hundred pips and it was about a one two three risk to reward the risk on this trade was about 0.6 percent okay so we have this gbp aud trade that i took on the 7th of december this trade played out really really well uh trade was taken on 1.788 and this trade was based off the analysis I had on the major currency pair, uh, in this case GBP USD. I caught a total of 44 pips on this trade, and my stop loss on this trade was about, I think it was about 30 pips in total. So not the best of risk rewards on this uh, trade alone. It was just over 1.5, 1 to 1.5. So I do usually aim for 1 to 2. Is that the minimum I would go for? But in this case, the spread on GBP AUD was larger. So I decided to give it a little bit of an extra breathing space so I don't get stopped out. Uh, the profit on this trade was about $700. So about a 0.7% uh, increase to my capital. Again, risking about 0.5% of my capital. Uh, on this scenario okay so the next trade that we're going to have a look at is another gold trade uh, this trade was taken on the 21st of december around 1900 the total profit on this trade was about five hundred dollars and you'll see that the lot sizes that i'm using on majority of these trades are around 1.5 to roughly two lots so i'm not risking too many lots it is a funded account. I don't have a profit target that I need to hit. I'm taking my times, I'm picking out my trades and I'm risking less. The last thing you want is to pass the FTMO challenge and then blow the capital. It just doesn't make sense. So the next trade that we're gonna go through is this GBP USD trade taken on the 21st of December. And this trade, again, I'm gonna go through this second trade shortly. 
Uh, let's just show that out. But I want to talk about this top trade first. So let's just hide this trade for now. And we'll go through this trade in a minute. So over the weekend last week, we had a few fundamentals that came out. And of course, we had another lockdown, which caused GBP USD to drop over the weekend. And when the market opened on Sunday night, we saw this huge gap, which was nearly 120 pips. So a massive gap there. And the market didn't actually recover this gap straight away. It carried on dropping all the way down to 1.32 after closing on Friday night at 1.3. So that's nearly a 300 pip drop. Uh, in just you know over the weekend plus Monday, which is quite huge um, Now this trade that was taken on the 21st was uh, a trade based of these previous lows that we have up here Down there and back here as well. Of course, this was nearly kind of hitting that high the market on the 21st after dropping 300 pips It recovered went all the way back up sort of closing this gap that it caused but also at the same time respecting this low uh, and this previous high that it broke and now retesting we also see rejection on the one hour time frame so this huge candlestick that we have uh, which moved up nearly 100 pips came up and closed below the zone which kind of indicates the sellers are much stronger in the market in that case and that's where i had entered this gbp usd trade i took two orders on this trade both hitting about 300 dollars each so a total profit of nearly 700 um, dollars and it had a TP of around 47 pips on both the trades with about a 25 pip stop loss if you guys want me to go through candlesticks in one of my videos let me know in the comment section below and I'll take that into consideration now last but not least going through the second GBP USD trade which was taken on the 22nd of December now this trade was taken based on this uh, previous high where the market broke through retested uh, where the market opened on a Sunday night and also now respecting once more we had a bit of a false breakout around this area where of course due to fundamentals market broke through and came back down so i wouldn't really consider this to be a uh, proper break of this level so this level is kind of still valid in my opinion so i took two orders on this trade and each order making me about 500 dollars each which is a 0.5 percent increase to my capital times two which is about one percent trade had a 70 pip tp with a 20 Five pip SO, which was a risk to reward of nearly one, two, three. Now that we are coming to the end of the year, the last two weeks of the year, let me know if you guys would like to see how I trade during the Christmas week and how I trade during the New Year's week because the market is a little bit tricky there where we have a lot of bank holidays. But let me know if you guys would like to see that. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video.